Hi guys! I have a new Harry Potter box set here with me and this is the 2014 children's paperback edition. So as I've already said, I'm mainly collecting paperback books because they look amazing in line like this and they are cheaper and these are probably one of my favorites. The artwork is beautiful except for the spoilers but again, you probably only buy these if you have read the books so it's okay. So. The thing is, I ordered this from Bloomsbury.com directly as uh, this was my third package arrived, but actually ordered fourth. So there's two I didn't talk about yet. Uh, so um, the thing is, they just can't package. I mean, I get it that the shipping is pretty cheap and all that, but putting this fairly big thing in a giant box and not even bubble mailer but like some kind of uh, paper mesh thingy and then they put it in the middle and then the first thing that the post office or whoever does is like make the box stand on its side and then the first thing this thing does inside is like jam down and then this happens so not too happy about that and the fact that look at Chamber of Secrets, I mean, it looks worse actually on, in life than in camera. It's like the glue is not properly done on the spine and it's like a bunch of creases or whatever. The others are not like that, it's just like I got like a faulted uh, Chamber of Secrets. And then there is this giant big thing and there is like a tiny one on the back on here, but that's okay. I would have been fine with only that, but this one is, this is like tragic. I mean, I got it on sale, I guess, and I did pay much less for this than if I were to buy it in my country, but that's like, that's like a ridiculous damage, like that would never happen if their boxes would be at least half the size. And it's just, I know that there is like a, they have like, I don't know, like five different sizes and then they, whichever the thing you order fits, they put it in that. And obviously these are pretty awkward to package, but you seriously need to do something about this because this sucks. <laughs> so let's continue uh, with this. Uh, so there is the top, looking pretty. I like this font, cute. Then there is the bottom, not doing much. Then there is this side with Quidditch field and this with the train and it's and there's I guess Hagrid's hut uh, I don't know that would make sense and that's just obviously it makes one giant picture if you turn it see and let's show the back so there is Hogwarts and the giant lake okay uh. So that's for the box, and then let's get these out. Oh wow, look at them. They're very pretty though, so it's like kind of... <laughs> so it makes me angry to be angry at them, if that makes sense, but uh, yeah, what can I do? So there is the box. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself it's not too bad, but there's even a rip, so... Okay, let's move these. Okay. So, let's start with the Philosopher's Stone. They have actually the same strange bit sticky material as the dust covers of the adults edition of 2015 technically, but the, that first cover art came out 2013. So, yeah, around this time's adults cover. It's just very strange bit sticky material. I'm not sure how that's gonna go after years. Uh, I love this cover, it's just a perfect uh, thing, moment from the book to put on the cover. And there is an all perfect. And there is the spine looking beautiful and I love it how he's on it. It just, these pines are beautiful. It's like, that's why the Chamber of Secret makes me more upset. <clears throat> so there is the, this cover, it's just a uh, spine. Spoiler, it's like, it's just... Ugh. Oh, shouldn't have put the basilisk on it. But it's a beautiful green cover, so this looks really pretty. And there is Dobby. Looking like a house elf. More like how it's like described in a book. So, and see, there's like this big one, this big line, and then these. Can you see? Yeah. Look at that poor gluing job. Isn't that just upsetting? <laughs> it's like, 
Oh, that's why I don't like to order things on the internet like this because I can't even check. It's just like... I mean, I saved up a lot by not buying it in stores here, but... Uh, and this is my absolute favorite cover because it's beautiful, but again, spoiler, it's like... You're not supposed to know that Harry can do a Patronus and what his patron what his patronus is, so it's like um though it doesn't make sense until you read it I guess so this is the night bus and it's going to be on the cover of the illustrated edition it's beautiful and the gam blue it's just like my heart can't take all the blue it's so pretty these look really good together I like the coloring they just match really well as you could see them still in the box it's just Oh wait, I didn't show, it's like what the insides are like, but they are pretty similar, so, so there is the seven books, and then um, what readers say, what newspapers say, and then this cover thingy, the Harry Potter series, also available in Latin, Welsh, Ancient Greek, and Irish, the first one, is like, I might want the Latin ones, not that I know anything about Latin, but like, it's just so cool. <laughs> But they are the same cover, so I don't know. So this is how the contents are written. And the same map as in the adults cover, which amazed me the first time, is in this one as well. So that's pretty cool. And this is how the chapter looks like, obviously. Aunt Marge's big mistake. <laughs> so this is how the inside looks like. <clears throat> I can't wait to see this in illustrated one. <laughs> then there is the Goblet of Fire. This is a good cover. I mean, putting the dragon on it is not too much spoilers and like probably if you have seen like at least a t t trailer of the movie, you know about the dragon, so it's like not too bad. And for me it's a bit strange that it's the three of them on this one. I like it when there's like an object or like how Dobby is like an other thing or obvious like being or anything. It's just um, not really like human characters I guess. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. Then... The most spoiler of all. <laughs> Order of the Phoenix, lo uh, looking beautiful because it's like red and the sun goes down and this is absolutely beautiful, but what's with the Thestrals? You're not supposed to know about them until the very last minute, because like this, the first time he sees them in the beginning of the book, like when they, I'm not really beginning, but you know, then he's just, you're going to know, oh, the things, oh, okay, okay, oh, and then it's just no surprise anymore, so. And then I have no idea why Snape is on this, it just... I don't know. I feel strange about this one too, the back cover. This is so pretty, I love this. I love the Thestrals. I imagine them a bit less scary than these drawings, but okay. There's like something on this. Oh, one page is like... The corners, look at that. Ooh, that's not nice. <laughs> I put it back. So, and then the Half-Blood Prince, very basic cover choice, but it looks beautiful. It's like probably the best thing you can do of this book. And many countries and pretty much everyone uses this, or really close to this scene in timeline. But this is done well, it's like beautiful, so I'm happy with this cover. I like, I like Draco on this one though, like he's looking a bit scared like scary and all that. He's scary and scared and like misguided, but this is a very nice choice. I have a feeling this is actually a tiny bit shorter than Deathly Hallows, so <laughs> that's like another defect in my books. I'm not happy about that. Like, um, I mean, it's like, look at that. I'm holding the buttons. It's like, it is taller. Oh wow. This box set is a mess. Oh, the cover art though. And I think this is an okay one. It looks gorgeous. So it's not... Uh, it's less spoilery than the fifth one, for example. This cover looks gorgeous. One strange thing is that Harry never grows up in these artworks. Like, he still looks barely 11. So it's a bit strange, but I guess that's like how this artwork goes. And I like this choice for the back one. It's nice. How it started. 
it has to end like that and then this is fine this is beautiful so these books are absolutely gorgeous the artwork is amazing um bit the childlike harry in the last books is a bit strange but uh, it's it's okay it's like how the art is it bothers me more how this book is shorter than that one for me and it bothers me more that there, there's like this huge damage on it I mean at least it's not on the books so Deathly Hallows is actually fine there's a tiny whatever on the Half-Blood Prince it's upsetting because these are these books are not supposed to be read for me they are supposed to be kept in perf perfect condition <laughs> but when they are already not in perfect condition then like what do you do <clears throat> oh, it's so pretty. Look at the coloring, that's very well done. It's like thought through well and all that. It's like great. I love that. Oh, just Chamber of Secrets. These two are a mess. <clears throat> it does look shorter than Order of the Phoenix as well. It's just. How can you not do two books exactly the same height? It's just it's so strange. <laughs> so pretty and it starts from purple and ends in purple I mean this is a bit different shade of purple this is more I don't know they're very similar actually so these are absolutely beautiful just look at the spines it just makes me upset that I have to be angry a bit about this box set because I wish it, it would be perfect but again it came like in a can't even show it on camera screen big box so yeah it just that's how it ended up being it's so strange to touch these. If you have these, you know what sticky feeling I'm talking about. Is this normal in British books or something? Because obviously my Harry Potter books are my first British books and they are just, I don't know, very strange to the touch. The dust covers of the adult version as well, because that's a, those are hardbacks. It just, I don't know. I'm a bit conflicted if I should message Bloomsbury about this or not. I mean, I do not want to refund and I obviously don't really want them to send another one because what would I do with this one? Anyways, so it's okay. I just want them to realize that do something about their boxes and just do it right. So, but then they might change the shipping price to all these countries. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, thank you for watching and bye.